very excited to be here. I'm sure you all are too. Has anyone been listening to Pod Meets Oral? It's so good. It's so good. If you haven't been, go, go listen to it. Um, but without further ado, I'd like to bring out the cast of Boy Meets World. So 
we are, I don't know, intertwining. <laughs> Eric's a lot smarter than I am. they write for you, and then as the show progresses, if you have the opportunity to have a show progress, then they really write for you. So they were kind of picking up our cadence, and I think Shining Light, like Ryder was very emotional, I was a big, wacky kind of goofball. So they wrote to that a little more, and I think that's kind of what you do. You, you, the, the, as, as Trina was saying, the line gets blurred between kind of you and your character at some point. So I don't know who shaped who, but they're fun. It was fun to play, so that's kind of all that matters. Yeah, same with everyone. It's, I don't know, chicken or egg, which came first, who was who first, but uh, I always describe Topanga as like just living on the other side of my heart, that I'm not really sure where that line ends and begins. And I'm just, I'm really uh, fortunate, and I felt fortunate for all 30 years to have played such like a character that meant so much to people. Uh, I think sometimes when people, I meet people and everybody is so nice, like we have the nicest fans. And I'll think to myself, man, how did we get so lucky? And then I think, what if I had played like a real evil character? People probably wouldn't like me as much. So I just feel very lucky that Topanga was who I got to play because um, literally everyone I meet is lovely. Bill? <laughs> oh, do you want, how do you, uh... how do you think Mr. Feeney has impacted you. You? Did you become Mr. Feeney or did Mr. Feeney become you? What do you think? I, I can answer, but I want you to answer. <laughs> I think Mr. Feeney became me. Yeah, okay. Between us, and I think that's why the show did so well as it did. You just have a natural chemistry 
as friends, you know, so. But I think, first of all, I gotta say, Pod Meets World is a really, really great show. It's like listening to, for me, a therapy. I find out things I didn't know, you know, and it's just like, I'm still reveling over the things I'm learning that happened 30 years ago that probably didn't really happen. <laughs> you know, it's totally a different perspective than, than what I have now, so I'm really grateful for, for what these guys are doing. I think they're doing a great job. Yeah, we're having fun. First of all, thank you all for coming up with the idea for the podcast. Thank you. <laughs> it's very, very nice of you. Um, but no, it's like Roger said. I mean, it's just kind of hanging out and enjoying ourselves and, and rediscovering the show and finding it again. And and like Trina said, we're bringing on different people that were part of the crew, or and so we're hearing stories that we didn't know. Every almost every episode, it seems like we're all going, "Wait, what? Like I had no idea that happened." Um, so it is, it's kind of rediscovering it all over again, because it does, it's been 30 years, we've now said that a number of times, I think, um, uh, and it's, you, you become so kind of dissected from the project that as we're rewatching, it's like you're not even watching yourself, you're watching an old, whole movie, and, and you have trouble connecting the fact that, oh wait, that's me, you, it, you feel like you're just watching somebody else, it's very difficult to describe, so to be able to go through it with these two, especially, and kind of be able to lean on each other as we're discovering some things, I think is, is pretty great, pretty wonderful, so. Yeah, I think more so than a favorite episode, like Trina said, there's there's a chemistry among all of us who have known each other and worked together and socialized with each other for 30 years, where there's a really nice ability to have both the difficult and the easy conversations where we are open to criticism, we're open to new information, we're open to changing our minds, we're open to, we're just, it's been a really beautiful like education where we sit down, we watch something, we say, you know what I was thinking about then? Like Trina said, things will come up in a conversation we'll go, what? Hey, you know what, actually that reminds me, I have a question for you, I had heard such and such, and then you just, you're like, wow, no, that's not what was going on for me at all. And there's such a, I don't know, it's, it's, it's truly magical. And I think my favorite part of the show has been letting all of you in on the conversations with us as if we're all sitting down to a meal together. And now that 30 year history that we share, we get to share with all of you and it feels like we have it with you as well. My experience is totally different because I really joined the cast so late but, uh, so I have to talk about what all the various parts I've played, and there have been hundreds, hundreds. And the thing that always amazes me is which things stand out, uh, I, I, and why? Because I don't think of myself as a villain, but I'm a good villain. <laughs> I, I'll do something, I'll say, oh my god, yeah, I cut off his legs. I,
about pod meets world and boy meets world, it's, you're fine. It's, you're good, you're good. I'm just reflecting on your characters as well. I that. Can you, you can, yeah. Oh, yeah. 